What's up, yo? You know, how you doing today? Uh, first room is done. You know, we are done with the first room. And, uh, you know, we are going to start working on uh, the second room. But uh, here are the towels. Uh, here are the towels. They are laid. Uh, the house is going to be, I mean, this room is going to be cleaner now. Look at all, look, look at all this mess, all the cardboard, all that stuff, uh, all the buckets, it's crazy. My man is uh, prepping the second room, so that, uh, so that uh, he would uh, start uh, laying uh, the tiles on there also. So, yep. He's getting it, he's prepping it up, and it should be uh, done on there too, in no time. It's gonna lay those tiles on there, and uh, move on to the next one, the next uh, task. Yeah, but uh, this is what we do, this is what we do. Here it is, and like I said, like I told you before, you know, all you need is like $25,000 to build this type of home, but you need uh, another maybe $10,000 to buy your piece of land uh, to build this home. Yeah, you, need, you will need another, an additional, you know, $10,000 to buy land. It might not cost you uh, ten thousand. It might cost you less than ten thousand dollars, but uh, the safest bet would be for you to hold about ten thousand know? dollars. You might buy you a small piece of land for like you know, small one for for like a thousand dollars, but that would only uh, be big enough for this little this type of home. So uh, you build that, get your little garden. You know, not a small little plot. You know, with one thousand dollars, you you could you could actually buy you a piece of land with one thousand dollars. But it's gonna be small, so it's just gonna be your house. Your your house is gonna be like it's gonna be big enough to put your house in there, uh, put a fence, and uh, grow uh, and uh, and you know grow a little garden. Uh, you wouldn't have something as big as what I got. You know, to get something as big as uh, what I got, you need like ten thousand dollars. You know, ten thousand dollars, you would get that. But uh, you would also, you could also get land for like one thousand dollars. But I wouldn't recommend you buying no land for one thousand dollars because that's gonna be trouble. You know, that's gonna be trouble to be uh, to be safe. You need to. If you would spend uh, three thousand dollars now, you are buying uh, some good uh, piece of property. Most of the time, people who are buying land for like a thousand dollars, somebody is gonna come and you know somebody's gonna come and they claim that oh he didn't have authorization to buy to sell you that piece of land because usually people who uh, sell land for like one thousand dollars are desperate for money. You know they are desperate for money. They are scammers. You know, they would tell you, yo, this right here, this plot right here is mine. You could have it for a thousand dollars. Usually, that's a uh, that's a sign that this guy is trying to scam you. If somebody tried to sell you a piece of land for one thousand dollars, it's a sign that they are trying to scam you. So you gotta uh, be aware of those. You know, if it's not too good to be true, uh, most of the time it is. So. Um, yeah, be careful when somebody uh, is uh, trying to uh, sell you a piece of plot for a thousand dollars. I mean, three thousand dollars and up, uh, you know you are getting something legit. You know, three thousand dollars has to be at least three thousand uh, dollars to be uh, legit. Uh, you know, but when it's like a thousand dollars, you know, uh, whoever is selling you a piece of a lead for one thousand dollars, he must be desperate. He needs money. You know, and uh, and chances are uh, the piece of land that he's trying to sell you is not his. 
like he's, he's so it belongs to somebody else so if you give him if you give him your money you give him your money for that piece of land uh he's going to you are going to have trouble in the future because somebody is going to show up to your house and tell you your oh, this is my piece of land and now you are going to court and all that stuff they are wasting your time or because you are always going to court and your time is going to be uh they are going to waste your time and you know you are going to lose a lot of money so uh, be worried when you are in africa don't buy uh land that i you know if somebody offer you a piece of land for one thousand dollars i would say i'll stay away from it because usually when somebody's looking for a thousand dollars for a piece of land they are desperate and most of the time the piece of land don't even belong to them because if it did they wouldn't sell it for about one thousand dollars they would be selling it for at least three thousand dollars so be aware of that you know like i said uh, the first room is done uh, uh, now working on the the second room you know the second room is now being uh, worked on and uh, you know after that uh you know we are going to do uh we are going to do the living room you know the living room that's the biggest uh the biggest part you know this will involve uh, more uh, work but you know, my man he, he could do it he, he's, he's fine like he's uh he, he, he got it he got it he's gonna get it there no, he's definitely gonna get it there and you know i'm always right there uh when these people are working and yes uh you need to do that also when uh when you have a project in africa you need to be on site all the time you know, when you are on site not only do they work you know they work fast and also your equipments are safe when you are on site uh, if you are not on site uh, you lose a lot of equipment let's say uh, I would lose a couple of bags of towels if I wasn't if I were not on site yeah I would lose a couple of bags of uh, towels so uh, and some other stuff that I would lose but for the most part when you are on site they are motivated to work you know you're on site buying them food you know they would work uh, even faster so always uh, do that uh, stay on site when the when when uh, people uh, when technicians are working for you you know be on site when you're on site it's, it's a big motivation like they want to they, they they want to impress you know and by doing so they you are uh, you know you are gaining uh, all the time uh, all the work that uh, all the good work that they will be uh, you know they will be doing when you are on site they, they actually everything is you know everything looks good when you're on site but you know for those who always uh, or for those who sit home and think that everything is going to be all right uh, nah, nah, everything's not going to be all right you need to be on site and some people uh, do have managers and uh, if you have if you if you do have manager you need to you know make sure that you trust your manager uh, make sure that he's reliable and make sure that uh, he's gonna you know put pressure on the technician to do a good job so uh, be aware of that but the best uh, your best bet would be for you for you uh, to be on site you know, for you uh, like I'm, I'm on site like I, I, I'm there like I'm there every day for everybody. It doesn't matter who you are. If you're a plumber, I'm there. The cable guy came in, I was there. You know, the carpenter came in to fix in the door, I was there. You know, I'm always there, and it's it's a good thing. Like they like it when you are there because you keep them busy. You know, and they want to impress because uh, in their mind it's like you would have another. Uh, running a uh, project and they would want to be uh, a part of it so always make sure that uh you are on site when uh, people are 
when these people are uh, doing the work you want to be on site and you know uh, talking to them being there with them you know it's actually a good thing so I'm giving you all the blueprint on, on how to move to Africa how to navigate and I'm going to keep it up if you've been watching from the beginning uh, you know how, how all this uh, started and you see where we are with it you know and uh, after this house I'm going to go uh, on the land and like I said like I told you before when I get back when I'm back on the land and I start working the land I'm going to need your help I'm going to do a couple of fundraising to raise some money because uh, I would need a lot of workers uh, we want to grow a lot of corns uh, uh, this year uh, we want to grow a lot lots and lots of corn uh, this year you know and we want to grow yams and all that stuff we want to grow a lot of lot of food actually and a lot of, of, of fruit of trees uh, we want to grow so when I'm back on the land I would be uh, doing a fundraising uh, to get money uh, so that I could pay my workers feed them while they work and um, buy a lot of seeds also so I'm going to be doing that uh, in a minute so uh, uh, be on the lookout for that and like I said when I go to the land you would see how to navigate how I navigate uh, building my farm so you would know what to do when it's your time you know when you make your journey so yeah that's what I'm doing I'm giving you the blueprint of how to uh, move to Africa how to navigate and stuff like that you know in the meantime in between them uh, like share and uh, subscribe subscribe to the channel share it you know uh, and like I said I would be running a GoFundMe uh, in a minute maybe next week I'll be on the lookout for that and I'll talk to you on the next one. Peace.